what's up everyone um, this video is kind of long you can skip through if you really want to but I wanted to do a little video on how I feed my tank um, today is a feeding fish and coral day so first thing I do is I shut off all my equipment power heads everything except for lights so um, today I'm just feeding them mysis some frozen mysis um, they all love it. Nobody uh, in here is um, a veggie eater. They all get the same food. They all uh, go crazy for it. And what I usually have to do is, when I feed my corals, I have to feed the shrimp. Because the shrimp will rip apart my corals to get food. These guys are actually guy and girl, because they are a breeding pair, because they spawn once a week. But um, I have to feed them because if they're not full and the fish are full, they will uh, try to get into the coral as much as possible. So on days like today, it usually takes me, I don't know, 15 minutes to, to do everything, um, which I'm okay with because it's like my little time with the critters. So I also have... Um, the LRS Nano um, frozen packet of food that I use to feed my coral. The um, the Nano version is I'm not sure if you guys have ever used it before, but the Nano version is a little eight by eight square um, that is just really finely chopped up food. It's almost like a puree and what I like to do is mix that up for like 15 minutes and let it set because it, it's when it's frozen it's it's rock hard and it takes a while to defrost it and um, fall it up and break it up into pieces so I like to put it in a container and actually shake it up to make sure that it's all bits and pieces and then what I do is you know I give these guys a break feed them again give them a break feed them again you can see my one shrimp that's the female that's upside down she's a hog and uh, she hoards food so <clears throat> so here's the uh, LRS and what I like to do with it is first thing I do is while the shrimp are eating I like to feed these right here because the shrimp love this section of the tank so I feed these polyps get them good and full as fast as I can before the shrimp gets to them I have seen them straight up pull food right out of their mouths and there's that clown he's a he's a pig too now my a cans um, for now everything is just sitting down here and in, in the upcoming videos you're gonna see me moving all these corals around but um, all these rainbow a cans what I do is I spritz them and I kind of wake them up a little bit and uh, some some of their sweepers are out so, but by doing this, like using the slurry mix of it and these little fine pieces, it, it kind of wakes them up. So by the time I get back to them in five minutes, all their mouths are open and sweepers are ready. Look at that fish right there. He, he has this new thing on biting me and attacking me every time I put my hand in the tank. And because of him, I have to do my rocks over again because I've constantly... He, he scares the crap out of me and what happens is, is I move my hand out of the tank real quick and I end up punching a rock, so I'm going to have to, uh, I, I'm, I ordered some uh, Coraline epoxy, just to, I'm going to pull some rock out, put the epoxy in between the two, just to make it a little bit more stable, but, you know, a lot of people say that feeding hammers and frog spawns, you don't need to, some say, ah, I don't do it, some say I do do it, but I've been doing it with all my, uh, my Ophelia, and um, they've responded to it. I don't know if it's just luck, but um, I have seen them, they retract and stay retracted for a little bit and then open up again. So, see, look at this guy. See, he's already trying to rip everything out. It's just rude. I gotta get him out of here and then feed him some more mysis. Let him do their thing. It's kind of like hush money for them. Look at that clown. He's such a pig. He'll never stop eating. But I'm glad this little one in here, he's he's uh, he's good to go. I was having trouble with keeping two clowns. 
because the bigger one would constantly beat up the new one. So this time I got one that was really small so that there wouldn't be any fight for dominance. The other one automatically knows, hey, you're the big one, I'm the little one. Torches are doing well. I'm going to shoot them up. I definitely know that they eat because I'll actually see them retracting in and pulling everything in and uh, once they like absorb one piece of food I'll watch them pull in another so I don't know what they do with it I never actually see them put it in their mouths but it happens this guy right here loves to eat too um, it's an encrusting one and it's since I put them I put I have two of these and since I put them down way low almost in the shade they've uh, they've they've loved it so that's that's their new home for those guys these Duncans I don't know if you guys remember my previous videos they were getting bumpy and everything and I did a lot of research and um, sometimes they say that's just how they grow it's like a, it's like a bubble tip anemone they Sometimes their 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 bubbles are at the different tips, and sometimes they're at the base, and sometimes they just get all weird looking. But that's just the way they grow. So you you see a lot of these uh, corals too on frag plugs. By the next video, you're gonna see there's gonna be no frag plugs in this entire tank. I've just been moving them around, growing them a little bit. Um, probably gonna be selling them at the next show, and actually all my frog spawn I might be selling as well. Um, I, might, I was thinking about even doing like a giveaway at, uh, at 300 subscribers. I was going to hand pick some coral out of my tank and um, Danny from Coral Lust was going to cover the shipping costs. So I think that's something I'm going to be doing. I'm getting close to 300 so I'm getting eager for it. So I want to continue the giveaways. It seems to be, you know, fun for everyone. It's fun for me too. I like, you know, I, I get, I get excited about it just as much as the contestants but so coming back to my a cans refeeding them um, I just got some uh, new power for my lights here and the the rainbows are their colors I mean you know me I'm, I'm a t5 person I can't get enough of them I wish I wish there was no LED so everybody could enjoy the growth of the coral like me but I know I know LEDs do it too I'm just I'm young but I'm old school like that right so feeding these guys again and I'll tell you what I don't know if it's from feeding them or the T5s but they they get about a new like this one all the way to the left there that rainbow a can when I got it two months ago it only had four heads on it now it's probably got ten so I've actually been asked to frag it for people um but it's uh one of my favorites i got that from coral lust that's one of my favorites um so oh you can see right here that that's the uh blue on purple hammer right there that i got at the uh reef and reptile show recently that thing's going to be finding a new location in the tank as well i think i'm gonna put it sideways maybe it'll branch out a little bit different or something but and uh, this green and yellow a can I got at Reef of Palooza, and it had that one head on it, just one head. Same with the same with that red one right there. I had that, that one, and I actually had two heads on it. And um, Reef of Palooza was what July, and now we're in November, and uh, they've just, you know, look at that the green and yellow one there. One head, the whole base is completely covered. What I have found is that I've slowed down. I used to feed my a cans daily almost and I feel like it was too much because sometimes I would see them spitting stuff out so now I'm, I'm feeding them like maybe twice a week but uh, this guy here I don't think he's gonna eat anything but I'm like yeah it's not gonna hurt to spritz stuff around what I like to do with this nano stuff is just go crazy with it because I wash it real good and I got my filter socks so usually when I do a huge feeding like this I'll um, change the filter sock like a day later wash it out clean it out real good um, so I'm just continuing to just spray stuff everywhere even though I've hit him already this way when I what I do is I like to just completely fill the tank with all these little pieces of the LRS so that when I turn my pumps back on it blows everywhere and gives the other corals 
some time to grab them. Um, it definitely helps because, like I said, I've seen continuous growth with the coral. And uh, but yeah, I do it like this twice a week. You know, completely feed the whole tank and just let it get crazy. It almost looks messy in there, but I would say maybe 15 minutes. After I do this, the tank is totally clear, so you can see everything blowing around, but... So that'll be it for this video.